but you're gonna have to go through a process. Like, oh, me? Yes. What process? Okay. Um, this is uh, technically a stolen plate, which you can only receive a stolen property. Let's go ahead and get this in. Jay Bay in the building. Hello. What's up, Jay Bay? What's up? What's up? Nothing, man. Nothing. We've been trying to get this convo for a hot minute when I came across your... Yeah, I know, man. When I came across your first TikTok, man. It's, it's, it, it's an interesting video. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're from Jersey. Like, that's where you're yeah. from or born and raised? Yeah, born and raised, yeah. Okay, that's where you got your CDL from up there as well? Yep, yep, Jersey. Okay, okay, well, see, I'm about to tell you right now, you can, you can keep all of that. I, I don't want Jersey. I don't want New York. I don't want the boroughs. You can have, you can have all that up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> keep that. I keep heard that. I keep it. I yeah, keep it. Keep, keep that in your back pocket and don't never take it out. For real, I keep it. All right, man. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I, I came across your TikTok on my For You page, and it seems as though it's a, a wild deal. You got arrested. Let's talk about it. Man. Take us back to that day. What, what was going on that led all the way up to that? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. It's just the booking process, it's and then you're... It's a ticket. 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 But it's just because of the crime. You're not going to jail. You're not going to jail. You're not going to jail. It's a process, okay? It sucks, but you clear everything up once you go to court, okay? You got to talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Everything from your demeanor, it sucks. Because I know you're a hard-working girl. You're doing everything you need to do. But hopefully, your company your company's going to be responsible for this. And you sue them. Listen, you sue them. Okay? Use two cups to two parties in my company. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna put these on the corner now. Need a set? You have to. Hold on, baby. He gonna. You gotta put it on speaker. Hold on. 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 Um, so, all right, so what, what do you have? Like, so... We'll I mean, talk to you you're, more you're about seems, the process in there, okay? This situation seems like you can explain that in court, but unfortunately, and the, like, we and have the, to... And also, it's not a ticket towards your license, so your commercial license... So, you know, it was a regular day at work going to the office. I get my assigned tractor, my assigned trailer, got all my paperwork. And, you know, I hook up to my trailer, do my pre-trip, check out my tractor, my trailer, make sure everything looks good. Uh, you know, I get out the yard, the security check my paperwork. You know, I'm driving on Turnpike, you know, regular stuff. And I'm five minutes away from the Home Depot drop. And I'm at the uh, red light about to make this left. The cops pull up on me. He like put your hands out the window. The trailer was reported stolen and whatnot. So um, I'm like, yo, can I call my job? Can I show you my paperwork? Like this is the trailer that I'm supposed to be pulling. Like I have everything with me. They like, no, you know, they asking for my identification, my license. They ran the tractor plates that came back good, but it was the trailer that was reported stolen. So in the video, you see the cops like, oh, it's a process. You got to go through a process. So I'm like, like, what process? Like, I've never been arrested before in my life. Like, I don't know. I'm nervous. Like, I've seen a lot of videos of people getting arrested. And, you know, sometimes it go good. Sometimes it go bad. Sometimes they make it out. Sometimes they don't. So I'm nervous at this point because I didn't seen a lot of videos online or whatever. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, 
whatever they asking for, just give it to them. Just just stay calm so you can make it back home to your family. You know, that's all I kept in the back of my head. So the cop, like, you got to go through a process and whatnot. So they cuffed me. They put me in a cop car. You know, I'm just, they just took me to jail. You know, the processing of jail. If you've never been to jail, so they, they take pictures of you. They take your mud shot, fingerprints, and all that whole nine. Yeah, it's been seven months. And the charges haven't been dropped yet. The job, they ain't really saying nothing. They haven't got on Zoom with me that one time for court. So it's that's that's that. Okay, let's unpack this. Let's let's go back to picking up the trailer. Like you got the paperwork for the trailer. Like legitimately yeah. Yeah. for the trailer from where you picked it up from, right? Correct. Right. And and if it was the wrong trailer, the guards at the front they would have been like, yo, this is the wrong trailer you got because they check your paperwork, your trailer, and they check the seal on the back of the trailer to make sure that's the right trailer you're supposed to be taking because you just can't hop in a trailer. I mean, you just can't hop in a tractor and then pull a trailer and not know where it's going if you have an empty trailer. Your trailer is empty. So this particular trailer is going to Home Depot. Correct. Yep. So, yeah. So you got the paperwork. Paperwork is confirming yep. the trailer that you're pulling and you're going to Home yep. Depot. Yeah. Okay, so you're at the light, probably jamming, listening to your music, ain't paying no yeah. ain't paying no never mind. And all of a sudden, whoop whoop come up behind you. You know what it was? I I seen the police sirens in my mirror. I was checking my mirrors, make sure my back end was good on my on my trailer. I was checking my mirrors and I seen the sirens. I'm like, oh, where are they going? I'm like, who are they going after? <laughs> the whole time they coming after me. Okay. So you finally right. get up to the light. They pull you over. They Now they thinking that you just saw them and you didn't pull over the first time. Now they on guard mm -hmm. when they get out of the car. Yeah. So when they get yeah. out of the car, what, what was your feelings at that moment? I was confused, to be honest. I didn't know what was going on. I thought, I didn't know what to think, because I was just scared at this point. He opened my door. He told me to uh, put my hands out the window. Then he opened my door. That's so I'm like, oh, yo, what happened? He's like, oh, you got to get out the truck. So as I got my hands up, I'm like, I got to pop my parking brake. I'm like, if I don't pop my parking brake, like this whole rig is going to move. So he allowed me to pop my parking brake to get out. And that's when he was telling me, like, yeah, this trailer was reported stolen. Okay, so you standing there confused and confused and uh, very it, confused. Is he telling? Is he's telling you that the truck or the trailer is stolen, but he's not telling you who made the report? He didn't tell me who made the report, but I got all of that later down the line on a police report. I got who reported the stolen. It was Bowman who reported the stolen. Bowman um, sales. They reported the stolen on August 3rd. Wait, 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 wait. So August 3rd, what what today is that you, you got pulled over and arrested? August what day was 14th, that? August 14th. August 14th, the trailer was reported stolen August 3rd. Correct. But would it be safe to say that the trailer was at the yard where you picked it up from all that time? I don't know. I don't know. I, that's that's my question. I want to know where was the trailer from August 3rd to August 13th? Where did it come from? Was it sitting in the yard the whole time? Did somebody else pull it from PA or Connecticut or wherever all the JB Hunt drivers be pulling trailers from? I don't know where the trailer came from. Okay. So who assigned that trailer to you? Like, how did you get your assignment? The guy, so normally when you go in the office, you'll be like, oh, where I'm going? Because you don't have a set route. So every day you go to this Home Depot or to that Home Depot or wherever. So that particular day I was going to that Home Depot in Perth and Boy. And it was like, huh, here's your paperwork. The guy in the office was like, huh, here you go. Here's your paperwork. You going to Perth and Boy. Here's the track that you're taking. And that's how it went man so just a regular day at the shop you do your normal routine this is like routine for you right yeah yeah now was it i wasn't even at the job that long i started july 27th 
and it's happened August 14th. I wasn't here that long. Okay, so nobody the wiser. No, no, nobody saying uh, nothing came over the computer. Nothing that says that that nothing. trailer was red flagged. Nope. Nobody in the office said anything. Okay, so the cops rolling behind you. They they get the call that the trailer is reported stolen. Yep. Like the cop didn't tell you like did they just get the call or did they have it and they just up and saw you pulling that particular trailer? Oh, he, he didn't say that. He just said I guess they got a notification because you know all of on the turnpike they got cameras everywhere. So if something is reported stolen and that license plate pops up on a camera, I'm assuming that's when they be like, oh, let's follow that trailer. Let's follow that person. So that's that's the only thing I can think of what happened. Okay. Okay. So we're so at the site, you getting arrested, you getting put into the car, you still confused, and the cop is is still not telling you anything at that time. No, nope. The only thing he said, the only thing the cop said was you clear your name and you sue them. Okay, wait. That's all he said. But wait a minute. You had the paperwork. Like, bro, yep. here is the paperwork. Here is where I'm going. The company assigned it me the trailer. He he didn't take any of that in consideration. Like, nah, nope. He didn't. He didn't. I didn't even get a chance to show them my paperwork. Like he just arrested you without pause. Yeah. And a lot of people was thinking that I was an owner operator. I'm not an owner operator. I'm a company driver. And and at that time of the arrest, the cop did say it do be a lot of owner operators stealing trailers. I, and I told him, I said, I'm not an owner operator. I'm a company driver. This tractor belongs to this company. So they didn't allow you to to clear yourself at all. Show yep. the company that you work for, where you actually picked up the trailer. Nothing. They just yep. took you out the truck, handcuffed you, arrest you, and that was it at that at, at that point. That was it. They left the trailer right there in the middle of the road. They that was it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Before yeah. we before we get into the company that you was driving for, you're you're now at the police station. You're 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 getting processed. Where where's your mind? Where's your thoughts? Where where where's your vibe at at that point when you, where Man, every where I'm, everything I'm is nervous. hitting you? I'm I'm nervous. I'm crying. I'm thinking about my kids and my family, my husband. I'm thinking about all that. Like. They had, they got me cuffed to the little bench in there. I'm just thinking about everything. Like, I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, I did nothing wrong. And they wouldn't even let me show them any of my documents that I have. Okay, now you're getting processed. They didn't no, allow you to make a phone even, call? They didn't, no, they didn't even read me my Miranda rights. What? Yeah. Okay, so I guess what they're calling it detainment, right? We're detaining, mm -hmm. but it still felt like an arrest to you, though. Yeah, yeah. He said we gotta arrest you. But he, I mean, listen, I was so ner I was so nervous. I put my own hands behind my back. I didn't want them to be like she's resisting arrest. I didn't want that. I put my own hands behind my back because, like I said, I seen so many videos of they thought people was resisting arrest. So I'm like, just stay calm and just put your hands behind your back, like. Just to smooth things so things can go as smooth as possible. I feel it. That's that's probably the best way to go, even though yeah. your your mind is in fifty million directions right now. Yeah. So for how real. long you was there before they let you go or what, what Yeah, were you I was on? there for about maybe like four hours. Um once they realized that I wasn't an owner operator and I was a company driver. That's when the guy was like, yeah, man, I can see it all over your face. Like, you don't know what's going on. I'm like, no, I really don't know what's going on. Like, it was it was crazy. Like, she was just taking down my information and asking me questions. Um, she did go into my wallet to see the JP Hunt gas, the fuel card that they give me for work. So I can feel the tractor when I'm out on the road. So they seen that. They seen my paperwork that I was talking about that I was trying to show them from the beginning. And um, my aunt did call the station. She called and they let me speak to her. It was like, uh, they're going to let me out. So after she did the taking the pictures and the fingerprints and everything, 
Um, they had to put me in a holding cell for 30 to 45 minutes so I can, uh, so she can finish up her, uh, summary or incident report. So then they let me go. Man, I tell you, that was the longest 45 minutes of my life sitting there. During all this process, they still haven't read you your Miranda rights or no. nothing? No, 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 They didn't read me my Miranda rights. Nope. Now that they figured out, like, oh, okay, well, this is a company driver. This is the company you drive for. They still didn't offer nothing up as far as the trailer go. Like, yo, bro, so. No, no. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Okay, so now you're waiting on your people to come pick you up because you don't have the truck. You go home. Where Where's your vibe at now on the way home? I'm just like, yo, I can't believe this happened to me. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Like, I still, like, still can't believe that this happened. Even when I, like, tell people that this happened to me, they be like, no way, J.B. Hunt? All right, so let's get to J.B. Hunt. After you get out, um, you call J.B. Hunt. You let them know what happened. What was their saying? Like, they was the one that assigned you the truck, trailer, and, and everything. What's, what's their stance behind it? The only thing they was asking was, when are you coming back to work? What's stopping you from coming back to work? They didn't care that I was arrested. They didn't care. They, they didn't say nothing about the arrest. Like, we're sorry. They didn't we're say checking anything. into it. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Just when you coming back to work. That That's it. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm confused. I, I, Me I don't too. Know, I don't understand. This and this is jb hunt that you're driving for right right okay so you go into jb yep. hunt let's take it back in a, a regular day you go in jb hunt you go into the terminal you get your assignment you get your truck and this yep. is all jb hunt correct yeah you get arrested you get processed and jb hunt has nothing to say about the arrest or the trailer itself yeah yeah that's right Okay, so them asking you when you coming back to work, what what did you say? Conversation was real quick and short. I said, I'm not coming back until these charges is dropped. And it's been seven months. Okay, so the charges, what are the charges? Charges, they, char they charged me with death. Uh, they said willingly, knowing, moving, stolen property. So basically, in a police report, it said that I knew that it was stolen. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You got the paperwork. You're a company uh -huh. driver. How did you expect to know that trailer was stolen? Right. So you're right. You're you're charged with willfully moving stolen property as as a company driver. Yeah. Okay, now you already mentioned that it's been seven months. So the first time you go to court, did you go to court with a lawyer or did you go to court to represent yourself? Yeah, I, I went to court with a lawyer. Okay, so you go to court the first time, they present your case. Would it be safe to say that after they present your case as you being the company driver, you was assigned the trailer, you didn't know that the trailer was stolen, it should have been dropped? It should have been dropped. Yeah. Okay. So what happened the first time you go to court? First time I go to court. So they gave me their accident and ticket lawyer, J.B. Hunt. He wasn't a criminal attorney, so he don't know. He's a ticket and accident lawyer. So go to court the first time, second time, maybe even third time. I'm like, look, we got a, a criminal attorney. Because the J.B. Hunt lawyer, he he wasn't giving what they're supposed to give. So we finally get the criminal attorney, and he asked the judge for it to be dismissed. Now the prosecutor wants to speak to the cop. After seven long months, he had to speak to the cop. Okay. So? <laughs> right, right. Wait, 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 wait. We, we still waiting on the prosecutor to talk to the cop? All right. Seven months, and we're still waiting on the prosecutor to talk to the cop. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm, I, I don't know about criminal law or yeah, anything like that, but why is it taking so long to, to talk to the cop about what happened at the traffic stop? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Okay. 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 That's what I'm saying, man. So, it's crazy. So your lawyer requested uh, the case to be dropped. Right. 
the judge is taking that in consideration, but the prosecutor wants to talk to the cop. All right. What What are they trying to look for? What What they looking for? I don't. I don't know what they're looking for. Ain't nothing there to, to look for. Okay. Ain't nothing there to. Okay. So the the attorney proved that you're you're a company driver. You drive for JB right. Hunt. You was assigned yep. a trailer. You, you had the paperwork. It was going to Home Depot. Yep. What, what is what, what's going on here? What? Man, it's I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I'm still in the dark about some stuff. I'm just like, man, when is this going to be over? Okay, so J.B. Hunt, they was the one that gave you the criminal lawyer, or this dude is out of your pocket? No, I found the criminal lawyer for J.B. Hunt to see for it. Oh, okay, okay. So J.B. Hunt is, is covering your court costs attorney fees. of attorney yep. fees and yep. stuff like that. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that, okay, I could, I guess that's a good thing. I guess it's good. It happened. It happened with their property. Right, right. Their stuff. Okay, so now you're just on standby until you hear back from your lawyer to see if it's dropped or not. Would you have to go back to court, or yeah. or you just have to wait I for? I think so. Yep, I'm waiting for a new court date. Yep. Okay. During this time, are you are you driving for JB or anybody at this moment? Nah, nope. Are you driving for anybody no. at this moment? No. Are you getting any type of unemployment? Nope. So what are you doing for old funds? Well, well, my husband he has a he has his own uh, trucking company. He owns a flatbed. So we own our own flatbed company. So he's also a breadwinner as well. How did your husband feel about everything? Like, I mean, what was going through his oh, head? Oh, man. Oh, man. He was pissed. Man, he was pissed. He he cursed everybody out in the office trying to figure out. He went up there on your behalf? Yeah. Okay, what happened? What yeah. happened when he went up there? He went up there asking, where's the paperwork? Why my wife got locked up? they like, he has the paperwork. They gave me the paperwork, so they didn't have a copy, so they gave everything to me. So they was, I think they was confused as we were. They was confused as we were, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to your husband on that. Okay, so back to J.B. Hunt, while you're waiting, they 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 not offering nothing. The only yeah, thing we're at J.B. Hunt is when you're going been back out, they work. haven't giving me no money, no insurance, nothing. And it's been seven months so far, as far as March of 2024, March it's been seven eight months eight now. Months. Eight months. Yes. Wow. So right now, you, you have a record that needs to be cleared. Yep, that's wow. correct. Do you think that is hindering you from getting another trucking job? I think the experience, the traumatic experience, I would want to drive like over the road like I was doing, but local, I probably would just settle for being like a yard jockey at a warehouse. How long has it been but, since you had your license before all of this happened? I had my license for about five or six years now. Okay, so you're an experienced driver. Yeah, I'm an experienced driver, yep. And this whole ordeal is like your very first time experiencing something like that. Very first very first for everything. So who you was driving for before you decided to drive a JB Hunt? I was working with FedEx. Okay. I guess my next question. You might hit what happened with FedEx? Why why you gave up FedEx for well, JB Hunt? Nah, I didn't give up FedEx. Uh the contract ended. I was working for a contractor at FedEx and the contractor ended. But they didn't renew it. So I was like, you know what, let me go try and work for JB Hunt. I see them all the time. You see them everywhere. So before the arrest, J.B. Hunt was giving me a lot of red flags, like a lot of red flags. But, you know, when you first start a job, you give them, you know, three chances. And, and the final draw is the final draw. So before the arrest, like, yeah, red flag. All right. So we know now that the, the final straw was was the arrest and subsequent right. charge of theft for you. So we already know that after everything said and done, you're you're not going back to JB Hunt. But yeah. when you got with JB Hunt, so let's talk about it. When you got with JB Hunt, what was the red flags that you was seeing that you were still trying to give them the benefit of the doubt? So one red flag was how 
Uh, mind you, I had train. I was with training because you know when you first start a job, you gotta do training and whatnot. So you know, I'm training. I'm getting my weekly uh training checks and whatever. So one week comes, and I only get paid thirty five dollars. So I'm like, um, something's not right. So I call my manager. I'm like, yeah, I'm missing my check. She's like, well, how much are you missing? I'm like, all of it. So she's like, well, how much did you get paid? I'm like, I only got paid $35. That was one red flag. Two red flags that I did like is that you had to work so hard to make your money. I know you got to work hard, period, for your money. But, like, with a tractor trailer, it shouldn't even be that hard. Like, the stuff I was doing at JB Hunt, I wasn't doing that today. And then the rest, that was that was it that did it for me. What kind of stuff that they was having you doing at JB Hunt? So they was having me. So when you got to the the home, people might think, oh, I'm being I'm being extra or I'm being lazy. But we had to drop and hook. Like I said, I never had to back up to a dock. We always did drop and hook at FedEx. And a yard jockey would come and get it. So, J.B. Hunt, you got to pull this trailer off the door, back your trailer up, let them unload you off the trailer you brought in, and then you got to put that trailer back. Then move your tandems back, the back of the trailer. It was just so much, man. That FedEx, as that FedEx, we didn't do that. They did at JB Hunt, but it was a good experience while last. What was the settlement difference between JB Hunt and and FedEx? FedEx, you got per day, and uh, JB Hunt, I think is is per mile and per dropping. So I and I had to work Monday through Friday. FedEx, I had uh four days. So you don't have to be exact, but can you ballpark around around the difference between you was getting at FedEx and what so, you was getting at JB? So FedEx, so so with FedEx for four days, I was getting fifteen hundred a week, and at JB Hunt, I was making a thousand for my training, and then probably like seven hundred dollars by myself, which I couldn't understand on how I was making more money during training than actually on the road by myself. And again, you say you got what J.B. Hunt win in, in July of 2023? Yes. And the arrest happened August 14th of 2023? 14th. Yep, yep. Oh, wow. Again, like you said earlier, you haven't even seen your feet wet with that. Yeah, yep. So, yep. no no apologies, no see what Nothing. we can do, see how we can help you. Nothing. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't say anything. No apology. No, I'm sorry. No, nothing. When it happened, the night I got out, I guess some lady from corporate called. They was like, "Well, just go out to eat and put the bill. Send me the copy of the bill." Um, so you telling me me going out to eat is equivalent to me getting locked up? Like that's a slap in the face. Nah. How about if I give you? How about if I give you the bill for everything that happened to me that day? How's that? Right. Yep, it's just crazy. But I'm, yeah, I'm glad man. that you that you kept calm. You didn't make the situation worse or anything like that. Again, JB Hunt. I would have thought somebody from JB Hunt would have called the police department and said, "That's our driver. This is we didn't know that the trailer was reported stolen because this is the yeah. trailer that we assigned right. to her." And it was going yep. over to Home Depot. Yep. All right. So after everything said and done, I, I know this is like the last question you may not know, but you did you hear anything about the trailer itself? Like they got it back. They got it back. They got the trailer back. Probably the next day or so. Yeah. Boy. They got JB, it back. Yeah. JB Hunt got the trailer back. Yeah, they got it back. So that that pretty much yes, proves. They did. That pretty much proves that, that it, wasn't. it wasn't stolen. So what's the hold up yep. with the court? Okay, what, what's, what's going man. on with the court, man? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They got the trailer back. So they got the trailer back, and I, I'm sure that they had somebody to deliver it. They didn't have no problems, right? Right, right. Yep, they have. But you're just having a hard time getting you cleared in court for it, though. Yep. Lord have mercy. That's what I've been saying. Okay, J Bay. We okay, J Bay. We we gonna need a follow up, man. We we definitely yeah, gonna need definitely. a follow up. Definitely reach back out to me and let me know the outcome. I'm sorry that all of this stuff is still going on. I I don't even understand it myself. 
that should have been clear the first time yeah. you was there. Like seven, eight months. That's unheard yeah, of. March, uh, March 14th would be eight months. When was the last time you talked to your attorney about it? Um, It's been a while. He hasn't called me back. Um, with anything new yet. But, you know, when you go to court, they normally send it in the mail with day and time. So that's what I'm waiting for. All right, man. Well, we're going to hold up on that. Uh, Jay Bay, thank you very much for coming in and sitting down with me You're and welcome, telling your man. story. Thanks for having me. Hey, my pleasure, man. My pleasure. You you stay safe out there and everything. And, uh, and definitely get back at me and let me know the outcome. All right. I definitely will. Uh in too deep like Omar Make me wanna track you down And hit the track hawk with the crowbar I knew we wouldn't go far Like we ran out of ethanol Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved When I met you You was on the couch with the plastic She need an Emmy Bitch so dramatic Now your baggage Got me on edge like jagged Fucking up my homes Look Patrick You swift to jump shift like a chief Been crying on my line like Therese But it ain't all you It's me Blame it on the things I went through